It's a show about people discovering new places, seeing new things. It's the Tamika Harris Show. Today on the Tamika Harris Show. I welcome Candace Baker, the creative woman behind Inspirational Expressions, LLC. She'll tell us all about her couture card and craft making business. Next, I go visit Creative Impulse Dance Studio, owned and operated by the talented Tahira Bowery, who gives us an exclusive look around. Then producer, songwriter, and recording artist Micah Smith tells us about his latest album release. All that and more coming your way. Stay tuned. Now, before we get started with today's show, I must tell you a little bit more about our home for season one. That's none other than Peace in a Cup of Joe, located at 713 West Pratt Street in Baltimore, Maryland. In a little bit, I'll speak with owner Themar Long, and he'll tell us a little bit more about his cafe tucked right here in the city. Let's go. Welcome back to Good Morning Oak Crest. I'm Tamika Harris. Today we get updates from the Baltimore Humane Society. With me is uh, Wendy Goldband, who's going to stop by and tell us more what's happening there. So, Wendy, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you back. Thank you. Today we're going to talk to an organization or a woman who has founded an organization that is really in the trenches helping the community become vibrant, strong, uh, and thriving. And so today I am proud to welcome Ms. Mathina James Brightful, who is the visionary director of Heal a Woman to Heal a Nation. And so we'll talk about this organization, what it does for the community, also her book, and her upcoming conference. So I'm really excited to welcome her today. Mathina, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I have the pleasure of welcoming Miss Joanna Guy, who is our current Miss Maryland of 2012, and she is going on to become Miss America 2013. I love that song. Welcome, Joanna. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm well, really excited I'm to be here. Hello everyone, I'm Tamika Harris and welcome to the 2013 Benevolent Care Fund Gala where the theme for this evening is a night in Monte Carlo. Now in the past we've brought you some great gala goodness that shall never be forgotten and I have a feeling that tonight should go in the history books as well. We're prepared to rev up our engines and have a really good time. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Kathy Kay. I'm holding her up and she's holding me up too. A lot went into this event, Kathy. It did. And I know you were responsible for a good deal of it. Well, yeah, it's been a long six months, yeah. um, long week, but uh, everything looks great. General Services did an outstanding job mm -hmm. on decorations. Catering has done a fantastic job on the menu and everything, and it all came together. <laughs> Well, folks, you've seen it all. The glitz, the glamour, the razzle, the dazzle. And right now, it's time for us to go. That'll do it for us at the 2013 Benevolent Care Fund Gala, A Night in Monte Carlo. I'm Tamika Harris. We'll see you here again next year. We're actually in the artist studio, and the artist I'm talking about is Darcy Book. She joins me today in her studio, her art studio. It's a beautiful place here in Baltimore, and I'm so excited to get to chat with you today, Darcy. Mm -hmm. I met you some time ago at the Baltimore Art Outside event, and it was a fantastic affair, and you were uh, one of the vendors out there showing off your artwork, and I said, I've got to bring her back to Oak Crest somehow. I know we're not on campus, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. So we're here and we're actually bringing the artwork to our Oak Crest community. So why don't you first tell us about your aesthetic of art? If you could put it in a word or two, what would that be like? 
Welcome back to Good Morning Oak Crest. I'm Tamika Harris and I'm very excited today because we will be exploring wall sculptures with Miss Diana Spencer, who is a Baltimore artist and writer, and she creates mixed media art using uh, fibers and recycled materials. It's very interesting and she's here in studio with us today to tell us all about it. So with that, I welcome Diana to the show. Thank you so much. Thank it's, you for inviting it's me. It's very good to have you and I'm so excited. You, as you can see, I have on my most artsiest top <laughs> it's the it's the most you know artsiest top I could find in my closet <laughs> because I'm ready for all the color and all the texture that you have to share with us today on I set. really appreciate you doing that and for I love me. it isn't that nice it's fabulous who else does that for you nobody okay nobody see? you're the one first person the one yeah <laughs> Hello everyone, in just a little bit, the 2014 Unlimited You Heal a Woman to Heal a Nation Conference is going to begin. Let me just tell you something, we are so excited about it. There are going to be speakers, excitement in the air, and people from around the nation are going to be here to enjoy this event. What has spoken to you the most on day two? Um, day two, I think it's just been just collecting bits and pieces of information because I know what will make me stronger as a person, as a businesswoman, as an entrepreneur is to take all the strengths I have and connect them, you know, into one overall piece. You look like you are maxed all the way out, honey. Actually, one of the things that she said that just blew my mind, she was talking about when we are doing big things, we're excited and we don't have anybody in our background going, Great job, that's fabulous, keep going and all that. Sometimes you just gotta approve yourself. You gotta like yourself on Facebook, you gotta do all of that. The crowd will come. Come on and like yourself on Facebook and follow yourself on Twitter. And so I gave